present to you homecoming week. So Monday for the spirit days was costume day. Tuesday was twin day. Wednesday was jersey day. Thursday was throwback day. And Friday were class colors. So uh, we're going to tell you about our queen candidates. We had uh, Cicely Porter and Hiro Padilla. Lexi Healy and Camden Chapman. Sarah Monasmith and Jacob Parrish. Olivia Lakin and Rodney Woodema. And Darian McAdow and Eli Kasiba. Homecoming week is important because it shows everyone's true bomber spirit and it brings the whole school together as one. Hey, let's get everybody out. We got a big game against CC. Uh, let's get a big crowd and let's show our support for the bombers. Thank you for watching and make sure you tune in for fall sports and activities. So I have to ask, you were dressed as the Contra Pit. I am. That is awesome. You definitely won the best costume. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what gave you this idea to dress up Isn't as? Isn't that awesome? Well, it's That's one of my favorite movies. And I think the, what's the famous quote? We all float down here. Oh, right. So we're going to have CC, Central Catholic. Since we were thing one and thing two. Yeah. So what gave, what gave you the idea to dress up like this? Pinterest. 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 All right. Yes. Yes. Always a go to. Where did you get your costumes? Did you guys have them yourself? Yes, we yes. did. Amazon. 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 Yes. Is it? All right, last question. Why are you not wearing a tutu? Uh, I didn't have the chance to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's your costume. Uh, Steve from Stranger Things. And why did you choose this costume? Because I like Stranger Things. It's a great show. <laughs> What's your favorite episode of Stranger Things? Um, probably the last episode when they sing the uh, never ending story. So it's your costume. It's a butterfly. And why did you choose this costume? It made me think of my daughter. Your daughter? Mm -hmm. Half. Half. Well, that's the sad part. Five years ago, she passed away of an asthma attack. Butterflies mean renewed life. So that's why I picked a butterfly. Hi, my name's Elijah Gassinon, and I'm here interviewing Cicely Porter, who's a queen candidate. Hi, Cicely, how are you feeling today? Good. That's good. good. So, when you were announced as queen, what was your initial reaction upon hearing that you were a candidate? Uh, I was really excited. My name was uh, called Blast because it was an alphabetical order. My name's Porter. Oh, okay. Um, so then, who did you choose as your escort? I chose Hyra Padilla. Oh, okay. So why did you choose Hyra? Uh, he's a good friend and uh, he's good school spirit. There you go. Okay. And so, can you give me uh, like a description of your dress, maybe? It's red and really sparkly. Mm, sparkly. I like that. <laughs> Um, and then, so how do you plan on getting ready for homecoming? Um, I'm doing my own hair and makeup. Your own? Yeah. Okay, are, you're not having anyone else help? Nope. That's impressive. <laughs> and um, so what do you think will be, or has been, the best part of homecoming week? Um, I've honestly enjoyed every moment of this week, and I'm really excited for the game. So. Great, well I can't wait to see uh, who actually wins, and good luck. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elijah Gassinaw, and today I'm here with Lexi Healy, Hi. who's a queen candidate. Uh, Lexi, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm, I'm doing great. So, what was your initial act, initial reaction upon hearing that you were a queen candidate? I was really surprised and like, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting it, but I was glad that I was a candidate. That's awesome. So then, uh, who did you choose as your escort? Uh, my escort's uh, Camden Chapman. Okay, and why did you choose Camden? Well, we've been friends since like elementary schools, and I've talked to him, and I have multiple classes with him, so I figured he'd be good. Yeah, that'd be, uh, oh, yeah, that's really good. So then, um, so do give me a brief description of your dress. Um, it's black, and it's got long sleeves, and the sleeves are lace. What's your What's your favorite part about the dress? Oof, probably the open back. Okay. <laughs> so then, how do you plan on getting ready for coming coming this Friday? Um, my Grandma is actually doing my hair, okay. and then I will be doing my own makeup. Mm, and that's impressive. Okay. And so, what do you think will be or has been the best part of this week so far? Um, probably like the spirit days. Those have been my favorite. Just like dressing up and like being with the other candidates has been really fun. What's your uh, favorite spirit day been so far, or what are you looking uh, forward to? Well, probably my favorite was Monday for costume day. Camden and I dressed up as an old married couple. That's so that's that hilarious. <laughs> This is Elijah Gastonal with Sarah Monasmith, who's on the who's a queen candidate. Sarah, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So, um, Sarah, what was your initial reaction upon hearing that you were a queen candidate? I was really surprised, but I was really excited because it's been a super fun week so far. 
Awesome. So, uh, who did you choose as your escort then? Um, Jacob Parrish is my escort. And why did you choose Jacob? He is my best guy friend, so That's naturally. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> so, give me a brief description on your dress. Um, it's black and it's kind of flowy and pretty, and I'm wearing red shoes with it. And so, what's your favorite part of the uh, the whole outfit? The whole outfit, definitely my red shoes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so what do you plan on doing, getting ready for the game tonight? Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna, you know, go out to eat with some friends after school, and then go home and get ready, and then come to the school and have a good time with the girls. Awesome. So, and so, what will or has been your favorite part of the whole week? Um, definitely getting closer with some of the girls and doing all the fun dress up days. But also, I'm really excited for the class games and the relay race. And today, I have Olivia Lakin, which is a queen candidate. Uh, Olivia, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So, um, what was your initial reaction upon hearing that you were a queen candidate? I was very surprised and excited. Awesome. And why were you surprised? I don't know. I just, it was exciting to me. I thought it was going to be a fun week, so. Okay. So, um, who did you choose as your escort? I chose Rodney Woodema. Awesome. Why'd you choose Rodney? He's very fun. He, I knew he would do all of the um, dress-up days and... Awesome. So, uh, give give us a brief description of your dress. Um, it's black and it's lace. It's kind of off the shoulder and it's form fitting. So. What's your favorite part of the dress? Um, probably that it's off the shoulder. Okay. And how do you plan on getting ready for homecoming this, tonight? Um, well, I have volleyball practice, so oh. I'm going to leave volleyball practice and then I'm going to have a girl come and help me do my hair. It's going to be down. And so are you go. doing your own makeup? Yep. Awesome. And so what do you think will be or already has been your favorite part of the whole week? I think just being with all of the girls and their escorts and doing the dress up days. Today I have Darian Mackett out, who is a queen candidate. Darian, how are you feeling? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Okay. So Darian, what was your initial reaction upon hearing that you were a queen candidate? I was really surprised. I was really happy to hear it. I didn't think that I was going to be, but it was like a really nice surprise that my classmates wanted me as the homecoming. Yeah, and that's that's awesome. Great feeling. So yeah. then, um, who did you choose as your escort? I chose Eli Kasiba. Me and him have been buddies for a while, so. That's well. That's awesome. Always choose your friends. And then, so, um, give me a brief description on your dress. My dress has like, it's off the shoulders and it has lace at the top, and then it's plain black at the bottom. So, what would you say your favorite part of the dress is? Um, probably the top because it's a little bit different than what I've ever worn before. So. Okay. And so, how do you plan on getting ready for homecoming? Um, so, I'm going to run to my house, get some of my makeup done. I have a hair appointment at 4.15 and then right after that I'm going to go back to my house, finish my makeup, get my dress on and my heels and head out. All right. So, are you doing your own makeup? Yes, I am. All right. And so, uh, finally, um, what do you think has or will be the best part about this week? I think the best thing will be the game, for sure. Me and Eli, we're looking forward to walking out together and stuff. So. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see uh, who the winner is. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Okay, so, Jimmy, who are you 21? I'm 21 with my girlfriend, Kaylee Chapman. We're looking like hobos today. Okay, okay. Um, and then why did you decide to twin with her? Because uh, she's my girlfriend, and like, <laughs> if, I, if I twin with anyone else, she'd kind of get jealous, so. Uh, and vice, why, vice versa, too, vice versa. That, is that true, Kaylee? Is that uh, why you decided to twin with her? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's right. and, very true. And then how are you two twinning? Uh, we're, we're wearing like all uh, all gray clothes that we bought from Walmart last night. It was very cheap, so we bought it. And we wanted to look like uh, Bobo's. So, first question. Are you guys 21? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, what are your names? My name is John Michael. I'm Gabe. Okay, so why did you two decide to twin with each other? Well, he asked me. And I was just <laughs> like, this would be fun. So, so were you guys 21? So, I'm twinning with my twin sister, Mackenzie. And then, uh, why did you guys decide to twin with each other? Because we're twins. So, and then, how are you twinning with each other? We're wearing the same rompers. I'm Rodney Odema, and I'm here with Al School uh, for Jersey Day. And so, whose jersey are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing uh, the jersey of Steph Curry. He's a great player. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, what team do, team do they play for? Uh, the Warriors. They're, they're a very great program. Uh, why did you pick this jersey? Because uh, it's one of the only ones I have. <laughs> uh, are they your favorite player? or who uh, is? He's one of them, probably. Who's your favorite? Um, probably uh, Kyrie Irving. That's a good choice. So I'm joining with Eli Hickman today. Uh, so, Eli, 
Whose jersey are you wearing? I'm wearing uh, Michael Floyd's from Notre Dame. So I'm joined with Abby Ayler today. And so, Abby, uh, whose jersey are you wearing? Uh, Russell Westbrook. And uh, why did you pick this? Because I'm a bandwagon. So I'm joined with Jake Malindaski for Jersey Day, the uh, Jersey legend. Um, so, Jacob, <laughs> whose jersey are you wearing? Larry Bird. Pretty nice. Uh, what team do they play for? Boston Celtics. And uh, why did you pick this jersey? Because he went to Indiana State. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm joined here today with the uh, phenomenal Mr. So. Uh, whose jersey are you wearing today, Mr. So? Aramis Ramirez's jersey. And uh, what team do they play for? They play for? The Cubs. Hey. Uh, why did you pick this jersey? Wanted to do something different. Usually I wear a Javi Baez. Nice, nice. Uh, and, uh, is he your favorite player? Javi Baez? Yes. I'm Mac Penn, reporting live from the trash can. What decade are you from? 80s. Okay. What made you choose this outfit for today? My mom had the outfit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mac Penn reporting live from the lockers. So, um, what decade are you from? I'm from the 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What made you choose this outfit for today? Well, this is a pretty bold outfit as you can see here. And uh, got it from my dad. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Mac Payne reporting live from the water fountain. Right here. What decade are you from? Oh, I'm from the 60s, man. 60s, yeah. What made you choose this uh, outfit for today? Uh, I always dig the 60s, man. Beatles got me in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> was it hard to find this uh, miraculous outfit? Uh, no, it was actually really cheap. Uh, you know, had it in the family for a while. And yeah. This little kid up, except the jacket. It's really expensive, but. Everything else is less than 30 bucks. Hi, I'm Mac Payne reporting live from the bench. So, uh, what decade are you uh, from, Rodney? Uh, I'm from the 80s. Look like Napoleon Dynamite, so yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. How about you, JP? I'm rocking that 50s look. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, was this like a DIY or a buy? Uh, I bought it. I got it from Party City, except yeah. for the shirt and like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. How about you, JP? I uh, bought the jacket and the glasses, everything else. Home. Nice. Is this from a, a movie, Robbie? Oh uh, no, I'm just I'm just like dressed like a '80s jock, kind of like Uber. Yeah, yeah, like the pro. Yeah, thanks. Got better hair than me. <laughs> How about you, JP? Uh, I got the jacket from the Grease movie. So. Hi, I'm Mac Penn reporting live from the ex fire extinguisher. Okay, what decade are you from? '70s. '70s. Okay. What made you choose this outfit? I just want to have a good laugh and it's comfortable. Yeah, it looks pretty comfy. It's like a little onesie or something like that. Was it hard to find this outfit? I don't know. I got it for Christmas. Oh, hi. I'm Mac Pin reporting live from the trophy case. So, what decade are you guys from? We're from the, from the 50s. 50s. 50s? Is this from a movie or did you just come up with it on your own? Well, we didn't kind of, we didn't mean for it to yeah. have go together, but I'm kind of like good Sandy. And I'm kind of bad Sandy. Oh, it's so. like Grease Mall and Grease yeah. too. What decade are you from? Uh, 50s, Greaser. Okay, like that. What made you choose this outfit for today? Well, uh, it's kind of easy because I already had the shoes and my dad had a leather jacket, so yeah. I just had to steal his clothes, I guess. Yeah, perks of having parents, right? Yes. Was it hard to find this outfit? No, not at all. No? Came right from the closet? Yeah. Uh, the sophomores, uh, the last, the first, uh, how'd you feel out there? 
Man, I just came off an ACL injury, you know. I just tried giving it my best, I didn't even know I was in the event. You know, I just came out, supported my, my grade, just came up with a dub. This is how we did it. Yeah, here is the one that won the The one actually getting the most was Matt right here. How did you feel about that? Pretty good. Yeah? What was your strategy in your opinion? Yeah, do you have a strategy? Push and pull, baby. Push and pull. The Macadal team, yep. and so uh, yeah. Uh, well, so Darian, uh, was there any certain strategy you had going in uh, to each event? Yes, um, to get the clothes on. Well, I don't ever get it next time, but I won't be wearing long nails. <laughs> um, the cookie, I just had to really move my face. Yeah. Uh, to get it in there. Yeah. Anybody else have any other strategies they used? I think it was all about the practice. Yeah. Yeah. Three, we four weeks. Two and a half practices. Yeah. yeah. We lifted yeah. weights a little bit. Yeah. Oh, because we were ready. Yeah. 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 We visualized, we had a poster with everybody's face in it, so yeah. we could visualize the victory. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. were you confident going into the event that you would win? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 There was no, no I mean, question. We, no we one trained worried. harder than we did. No. Okay. Yeah. No, we were very good. Okay, so you didn't get off to the best of starts, but you recovered. So what was the mindset recovering and getting back into the game? Calling the queen out. Oh, thank you. It's all about the queen. All about the you queen. Know? Right? Yeah, I mean, sure. really. All right, we're here with the winners of the Tiger World Championship, the Sears, Luke Standish, and Pierce Taylor. So, uh, what was the strategy going into the event? Just um, uh, hit that weight room, you know. I knew we had this coming, so you know, a couple weeks prior, we just hit the weight room real hard, you know. Just had to find it within ourselves to, you know, pull harder than the other team because that's how you win. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about working together. You guys got to be at the same time. You know, you can't be going at different times because you're fighting against each other and you just want to work out. You got to be a team. Yeah. So what was the confidence level against the Jaguars? Oh, it was through the roof. We saw them come out. They were beat before they even came out. You know, I mean, a bunch of scrawny kids coming out there thinking they can pick them up the last minute. They ain't going to work. You know, it's just like, yeah. You know, all week coming up to this, we've been talking to them about all this and stuff, making fun of them, telling them to get ready. You know, it was just a great team.
and a goldfish. I'm going to make it.